Gostinho. Vai. Hey guys, welcome back to Hell's Kitchen. If you want something fat and juicy in your mouth tonight, you have come to the right place. Today, we are making the American hamburger, but with a spicy twist. And you know this pairs up with fries and a Coke so well. How to make the Dorito burger. So here we are working with three pounds of ground beef. If you want a juicy burger, then use regular instead of lean or extra lean. And if you're on a diet, then you shouldn't be eating burgers in the first place. Here I'm gonna add one tablespoon of garlic powder, one tablespoon of black pepper, and the all important taco seasoning. You wanna use about three quarter of the package or the full package if you're extra salty. This package is 24 grams, but you could also sub this out for one tablespoon of salt or seasoning salt. Three quarter cups of finely diced white onions. Crack two eggs. This should bond the meat together. So here I have about 10 Doritos and uh, this is where I guess you have to give it a good pounding. Oh yeah, just like that. So in total I used about 20 chips. And the most important thing here guys is you need to play with your meat. So give this a good mix and also wrap it up. Store this in the fridge for at least half an hour for everything to bond together. Ladies, ladies. Now rule of thumb here is the thicker your meat, the harder it is to cook anyways. So the debate here has always been how raw can you eat your burgers? Let me know what you guys think. For the sake of this video and the fact that I was busy getting all the toppings together, our burgers were basically well done. Now there are endless toppings for burgers. Here are some of my favorite. Got myself a little bit of ketchup, mayo, some honey mustard, barbecue sauce of course. Here comes the bacon. Oh, the crispy bacon. Some banana peppers. Banana peppers are great because they're not so spicy. Lettuce of course, some white onions, and a piece of tomato I'm probably gonna throw out later. 